Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 69. Nice. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the first of our race car section of the semi-pro. Um, and we're going to see, a, I think other than the horse, these three events here, the rest of these are all race cars. Yeah. So, starting off with the Class R3 Euro Tour. Uh, we got the BMW M3 GT2. Starting off with the Bugatti Circuit. The Circuit de Catalunya, Amalfi Coast, Mugello, and then Silverstone. All right, here we go. First race in a racing car since quite a while ago. So, woohoo! So the Ferraris are quicker than the BMW, uh, especially off the line. But hopefully, we can still catch up because. A lot of these cars are fairly homologated, and when you look at it, they've all got like GT2 bumper stickers on it, so I can only assume these are fairly homologated. Last night, she said... Hello there, Ferrari! Ah, oh, you ball bag! Okay, one thing I do keep forgetting uh, is to actually shift down enough. I've been playing a lot of rallying, and a lot of the times you sort of don't shift down straight away. Because you don't want to stay in the higher rev range as much. Because being in the higher rev range just means more chance for you to lose control of the car. Um, typically, when you come out of corners, it's not high rev range, so or not as high. But also, we've been taking a lot of um, road cars as well. bad <laughs> Whoa, keep it moving. Ah, sliding around to the rear of the car there. <laughs> we got American R3 cars next. Uh, I hate American race cars just as much as I hate American road cars. Just American cars in general. Terrible. But at least the American tour is American cars around American tracks, so that sort of is a little bit of a bonus because American, American cars are much better at American tracks. So that sort of eases my mind a bit for those. 
than it has done for the past few American tours. But it's still not ideal. Right, one more lap. Let's go. It just seems like constant acceleration in these cars. What's the interior like? Oh, it's fucking hideous. Uh, and there's no lights. There's no dashboard. This car has no dash. That's brilliant. Right, here we go. Final few corners. Woohoo! Right, so we got a uh, 50% discount on driveline upgrades and 50% off intake manifold and throttle body. Awesome. All right, here we go. Rum, rum, rum. Gosh, that wheel spins crazy. Um, I have no clue what episode number we're actually on now. I think it is 69. Now that I think about it. I think it's actually episode 69. Um, yeah, <laughs> episode 55 has just gone out today, so we got a bit of a backlog looking good. Whoa, the car just sort of grit. Way more than it should have, to be honest.
Shit. Come on. You got this. Oh my god! So these two Ferraris are fighting each other, but they are slowing each other so far down. Gosh, look at that. Come on. Oh, we are fighting for this position. Lost it. Gosh, this is awesome. This is actually a good race. Looks. Joe, you know what's good about uh, Motorsport? Th uh, not Motorsport Three, Motorsport Five. When it comes to it, is I don't actually have to come first in every single race. I just have to get gold, and gold is getting a podium throughout the whole of the Motorsport five game, I think gold is just a podium. But that's the only game it does it to, because uh, Motorsport 7 wow Motorsport 6 I think is all based off of I actually haven't checked Motorsport 6 to see what classes as a gold. But uh, Motorsport 7, it's just com come first in the championships. Because it is just championship events. There we go. I got the position. BMW Performance Driving School. I would love to see BMW make a return to Formula One. How awesome would that be? When this game came out, um, BMW was in Formula One, so... I don't see why they can't come back. <laughs> right, one more lap. bad. Keep 
it moving, keep it moving! We have got two very hungry uh, Ferraris on my tail here. Should be far enough ahead now, though, actually. So, should be okay. Alright, so we got a 50% discount on Valve's upgrades now. Meow. Oh, come on. I've been rammed in the ass by a Porsche. Okay, this is going to be quite challenging, actually. Actually. There you go. Ah, oh, Porsche! Yeah, fuck you, Porsche. Prick. That's why you start with a P. Porsche prick. There goes um, something. Part of my drive shaft. There goes some of my suspension and brakes as well. Porsche's back on my tail. Ah, oh, your ball bag. I got some engine damage. So uh, it turns out the Amalfi Coast is not designed for race cars. Who would have thought? His Porsche's getting on my fucking nerves. Ferrari, stop it. There we go. Oh! Right, I'm around the outside. My car's absolutely battered. Uh, I believe Twitch has gone down, actually. Um, they said that they were going down for maintenance at around about... I think it was 11 a.m. PT, which is, like, now. Uh, and apparently sign-in and stuff is affected. But not always. Or something. I don't know what it was. But I can still record. My recording is still always going to work. If the recording stops working, that's normally pretty bad. Because that means Twitch has gone down. Or my stream has gone down for Twitch. And my recording's not working, but... As long as the recording's working, that's all that matters.
not bad. We're just about managing to stay ahead. Just about. The engine is battered, though. How do you check the engine status? I don't know. I can't figure it out. I have to use the uh, main display. Oh, holy fuck! Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So we got 20% damage on the engine, 43% on whatever the fuck that is. I would have said that's the gearbox, but there's. Oh wait, hang on. No, that is the gearbox. But there's also a gear shifter icon as well. But the shifter icon doesn't have a percentage, so I can... But does it not have a percentage because it's not damaged? I know, it's very strange. There are the Ferraris behind us. Keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it going, keep it going, keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it going, keep it going, keep it moving, keep it going, keep it moving, keep it going. Whoa! Right, well, it looks like we've just um, closed up the pack a little bit. I've got no aerodynamic performance either. I genuinely think uh, this game has aero performance. It gets simulated ever so slightly. It's nothing ridiculous. And it's like basic aero calculations. But like the front, front of my car really does feel a lot looser. And because the front is loose, the rear loosens up a bit as well. Ferrari right on my tail there. Little bit of lag. But that's just the Xbox being old. Not bad. Alright. Woo! So we are 67 hours of playtime into this playthrough. By the time we end this stream, it'll probably be 69, so... Ha ha! Jesus. I'll be honest, that was a sketchy corner. But I didn't want to crash a car again. Because every single race, we've destroyed the car. Never mind. I got damage on my front bumper. I will admit this BMW is a little more unstable than I'd like it to be. In fact, I wouldn't like it to be unstable at all, but...
Keep it moving, keep it moving. Ah, no. Yo, Triple Six, what's up? Long time no see. How you been, man? Hopefully, you're having a good day. I got an H on my nose, it's really annoying me. Zim Zima, who got the keys to my motherfucking Beamer? Oh, this is a tune. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ba -ba -ba. This Ferrari really does not want to be overtaken. Like, it goes so slow in the corners that you have to slow down. And then just completely picks up speed on the straights that you can't overtake. There we go. I got the outside line. Be a puppet on a string. I've understood. Not good. Bum 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 Not bad. Final lap. Let's get this lap done. I'm so happy that this track is in all of the Forza games after this. So. Because this is my, my favourite track now. After driving it enough, it, it really is a favourite of mine. Bam, 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 bam. 
the man broke the man here joke, so you gotta get loose with the Henny and the coat. If the man don't dance, he's done. Tell him, move on, get the man gone. Now, can I get a Coke with my room? Ah, what a shoe. But I'm bum. Bum! Bum! Not bad. There's a little bit of lag going on. A little bit laggy. We got 12 grand there. We got a 50 cent discount on displacement upgrades. Woo! Alright, here we go. I just realized there's been ages since we've leveled up. Like, obviously because it is a maximum limit of 50 levels, we're obviously at the max level. But, like, it's been a while. We probably weren't even 25% done with the game when we finished leveling up. So, you would have thought the devs might have put a little bit more levels in. Maybe make it go to 100, 200, 250 maximum. Something like that. I think our 100 maximum would have been an ideal number, but... At least in Motorsport 4, they don't have a limit, as far as I'm aware. But then again, I got up... Didn't get up above 100, so... Now that's how you take that corner. Absolute slingshot. Up the inside of the Ferrari. The Ferrari's turning into me. I'm giving it a car width of space. And it's just... Greedy bastard. I've been pushed off. Now the Ferrari's let himself through as well. The red Ferrari. But I'm going to deny that transaction. Swap of position. The blue Ferrari going really slow through here. Bloody hell, give me an open window. Have we sealed the deal, though? By the looks of it, so far. We have, in fact, sealed the deal. Ferrari is bloody angry, though. Not bad. bad. If I'm not mistaken, this was on um, 
Horizon 2. The radio state, uh, hospital records for Horizon 2. Absolute tune. I would like to see some other sort of, um, what is it, record labels team up. Like, I would love to see Hospital and Liquicity team up together for, like, Horizon 6 to make a radio station. Where the two of them work together and you have, like, a killer drum and bass soundtrack. Like, 40, 60 songs, just an insane radio station. And then they could call it, like, Horizon Drum and Bass. Horizon Drum and Bass Arena. There you go. That's the uh, new radio station for Horizon 6, confirmed. <laughs> Not quite. It would be cool, though. Because then again, if you call it Horizon Bass Arena, or, like, Horizon Drum and Bass Arena, or something like that, there's no fighting over which record label has the licensing. And you could get, like, the main guy, because I think it's Maddock, if I'm not mistaken, that owns Liquidity. 99% sure. And then you also have Hospital as well. I think it's London, Le London Electricity that owns All right, uh, Hospital Records. So you can have the two of them doing like a radio station together. Crazy. Bit Darren Styles. Woo! -hoo. Bad. I forgot this was the final lap, actually. Car behind is 8.519 seconds behind. So yeah, we got well ahead of the uh, Ferrari now, which is good. Oh yeah, this is the uh, last race, isn't it? We move on to the American cars. Saving Ghost, please do not turn off your console. We got 14 grand there, not bad. And I will take whatever the game gives me now. 27 grand. I'll take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.